My name is Elsa Marques. I'm a health economist at the University of Bristol and I do cost-effectiveness analysis for total hip replacement. In this study, we have provided two pieces of research into hip replacement, looking for the evidence for what is the best hip implant to provide to patients, NHS patients of certain age and gender uh, categories. I think it's important for patients to understand a little bit about the types of hip replacement. And essentially, there are two things you need to understand. The first thing is how are your implants attached to your bone? And they're essentially two ways, either with cement or without cement. And the without cement ones we call uncemented. And secondly, the moving parts and what they're made of. Now, the hip replacement has essentially two moving parts that move against each other, the ball, the head, which moves within the socket. And the head can be made out of metal, or ceramic and the inside of the sockets can be made out of polyethylene which is a type of plastic or metal or ceramic. What we found was that um, there was no evidence that any of the newer um, hip implant uh, constructs were any better than the traditional metal on plastic cemented implants. We also found that the older the patient, the more likely that the traditional metal on plastic implants would be the best cost-effective choice. For patients under 65, it's less clear which implant uh, is the most cost-effective. We have some evidence that still the cemented implants uh, are going to be the cheaper and will last longer for these patients. This finding is actually quite important because currently only about 30% of, of all the hip replacements performed in the NHS are using the traditional uh, cemented metal or ceramic on plastic implants. We find that um, both patients and clinicians would benefit from having better evidence to inform their choices for what might be best for them in the longer term.